Hi, I'm Grant, this is Dad Crafted, and I'm going to transform this shop floor with some garage epoxy. Alright, let's go. Alright, so step one is get all of this stuff out of here so we can clean, mop the floor, and do etching before we do any epoxy. Most of my big stuff, luckily, I have put on wheels, so that's going to just roll out to the back deck or to the front of the garage. And everything else, I'm going to try to get in the basement, but hopefully the weather cooperates and we don't get rain. I can tarp most of this stuff, but job one is a lot of moving. Let's go. I thought I would throw in a little footage of my fold-up workbench. I made this thing before I ever started making videos for Dad Crafted, so there's really no footage or even pictures of me building this thing. So anyway, here's a little thing of how it folds up and can easily roll out of the way. Pretty convenient when you want to, you know, epoxy your floor or just clean. Taping the drywall was kind of pointless. Uh, for power washing purposes, maybe it seemed like it was going to keep water away, but all that did was adhere the tape to the paint and soak the paint and all the paint is like coming off of the bottom. Speaking of cleaning, so the original idea was we thought we were going to have to like bleach the floor several times. This floor was actually already sealed, so my brother said when he did his floor, they spent like two days cleaning. We got it all done in one day, not to say that it wasn't a lot of work. This was a lot of work. We skipped bleaching, we basically just went straight to power washing, squeegeeing, scrubbing, and then we got some degreaser. You're supposed to mix the degreaser with water and dilute it spread it out, scrub it. We just kind of dibbled, dabbled little bits all over the floor. We had water everywhere. Anyway, scrubbed it in, power washed it, did that again. I think we did that again. Then the bottle was empty, so we poured some water in there, did it again. I basically got everything out of this garage, cleaned this garage, scrubbed the floor of this garage, from noon on Friday until 10 o'clock at night. 10 hours straight of cleaning a garage floor. Awesome. What are we doing, Lewis? Etching the floor with etching solution. Etching the floor with etching solution. It's highly toxic, highly flammable. It's burning my nostrils and I'm pouring it all over my face. Barefoot seems like a good idea. And we pour this on and we let it sit for a couple minutes and we scrub it in and then we rinse it off. Little concerned that our floor is probably sealed, but I'm not saying in this floor. Taking my chances. That does sting. One thing to note, if you use the Rust-Oleum Universal Base Kit, it comes with etcher. If I had opened one of them, I would have realized that. And at some point after five hours of cleaning, we probably started to lose our minds a little bit. If anyone ever tells you you should epoxy your garage floor, don't. <laughs> I'm walking around in this stuff with my bare feet.
cleaning. Saturday morning. We finally got to do the epoxy. And oh my god, is this awesome. Look at this. Glory. So, just like a typical epoxy, there's two components that combine. Alright, what are you doing? We're all A into B. Is that what it said? Or is it B into A? I think it's B into A. You roll A towards B, and there's a seal that pops, and then they combine together, and you shake, 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 and you pour all that in a bucket, and then you add your additive. We chose Copper Pot for this, and I could not be happier with the Copper Pot color. Once you combine the two bags, you pour it in, you drop in your additive, stir it in for about three to five minutes, and then you've pretty much got 30 to 45 minutes to get it on the floor. Gratuitous butt shot. Nothing. part that I did first is in the far corner by the garage door and it didn't really turn out so good. I definitely didn't coat it on thick enough and you can see through it a little bit. So I'd say if you're doing this yourself, be liberal, lay it on thick and definitely buy extra kits. pads stick to the roller themselves you're not going to get them off maybe you can try to prime off right away but there's probably going to be so much epoxy everywhere that trash it garbage doesn't matter throw it away you're hundreds of dollars in anyway who cares this is epoxy strong coverage the boxes say that it covers 100 to 125 square feet. That is probably wrong. I would err on the low side. I would probably even err below the low side. I have a 750 square foot garage. I bought six kits. I thought, nail it on the head, we'll make it stretch, we'll make it work. Bad idea. When you're spending this much money, you might as well spend extra, and if you don't need it, you can take it back. If you do need it, we did then you've got it. <laughs> one other important thing, the rollers that you use for this. You want one of the rollers that have the barbs on the prongs because you don't want that thing to slide off while you're rolling. Oh my god, several times when we were trying to roll, the process requires you to roll it on and then come back over and you do these kind of swirlies to make a swirly motion over it to help kind of blend things in and give it this kind of swirl pattern. When you do that, if you don't have the thing with the barbs, your roller is going to slide off the side and you're going to start swearing and then you're going to start throwing things and then you're going to call your family or your friends and you're going to tell them to go to the hardware store and buy you the good stuff. So just take it from me, do it up front, just buy the expensive ones save yourself the trouble. I have a detached garage, so we have this deck space in between. And this is where I've left everything while we're waiting for that to dry and while we cleaned everything. So now, since I can't go in the shop, I'm taking the opportunity to try and clean everything up, Dawn dish soap, rag, and just wipe everything down and get rid of all the dust so that when everything goes back in, it's super clean, super nice. This part really sucks, but it's gonna look awesome. I mean, honestly, who am I kidding? This whole process has sucked. All of it.
much eight hours. I need to turn my lights off. So I think I'm going to walk on it. But I'm scared. It looks wet. It is not wet. That is crazy. There's some bubbles. That was me literally popping one. Holy cow, this looks crazy. Bubbles. I don't know why I have so many bubbles. I still haven't Googled it because I'm done and I don't really care. I'm sure anybody watching this video can Google it. I've epoxied a bar top before and I know that usually when you do epoxy, you take a heat gun or a blowtorch and you kind of go over the top and it eliminates bubbles. You kind of do that for the first 10 to 15 minutes, whatever. Here, we're doing 750 square feet and we start at one end and we work our way back. There's no way I could take a blowtorch to this and try to get bubbles out as they go. We didn't even really see them until several hours later anyway, so maybe we just did it on a day that the temperature wasn't right. All right, let's go. Check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Still a little dry? Yeah. Does it look dry? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The dry cooks? Looks wet, doesn't it? Oh, my. Not wet. There's a few bubbles. It's kind of funny that they pop. I do. <sighs> well, guys, we did it. The floor is done. I think I'm just gonna lay in here and sleep today. It's a celebration. I don't have sponsors for any of my videos, but I would like to say this video is sponsored by my brother. My brother Lou helped with this immensely and I never would have got it done without him. He doesn't have his own YouTube channel, he doesn't have his own Instagram channel, but he does have a Facebook page. He runs a Facebook page called Zombie Hollow. You should definitely go check it out. He does all kinds of Halloween stuff that is freaking amazing. Hopefully. You guys can go to his Facebook page, maybe bug him and tell him, start a YouTube channel. It would be awesome to see how you do all this. I think that's it, everybody. Like I said, the floor is amazing. I love it. I can't believe I finally did it. I shouldn't be this excited about a garage floor, but what do you do? I'll probably get a sleeping bag. I'm staying here for a while. Hopefully you guys will get to see this floor in the background of many project videos in the future for years to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a little something. I hope you're inspired. I hope you do something like this to your workspace. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. That are still pretty thin, so eight would have been great. Eight would have been great. That's awesome. I can't even continue after that. Eight would have been great. Sure.